We never melted in pots. We were a generation that preferred to leap faith first into the fire. Conceived in the law after hippies and funksters. Around the time they put down their peace and picket signs. And picked up briefcases, crack pipes, or a pen to sign the mortgage. We were born when the diamond in the back, sun loop shop, and the Chevy van it was alright to make love in. Turned into a minivan or station wagon. Played outside with latch keys dangling, bill collectors hassling, and your family status was measured by how many channels your TV had, or ice cubes and filtered water came automatically from the door in the fridge. We grew up in the mix. Rodney King riot in a gang peace treaty party. Came of age just in time to watch B-Boys become Halloween costumes. Just in time for the image of American child rebel soldiers, also known as Crips, Bloods, GDs, BLs, Latin kings, or simply mean mug, gold grill, dark skin teens to trade places with Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben as the image of the new niggas that you love to hate but were entertained by their smiling face or dismal face. We could all relate. Beyond race, gathering in parks from oak to wicker, passing flows, bumping Rashid and reading Upski. We were the dirty little secrets of PC elitists, picking up where our parents had left off where many of our parents couldn't catch up. To this day, it seems that some of them still haven't caught on. That it's, it's not, not just, just songs. The real can always recognize itself. We still collect in basements and internet places, doing integration without a political mandate. L train saints. <laughs> it's only a gimmick to the takers. Minds so trapped in hatred that to them, nothing, nothing is, is sacred. sacred. Long after you have raped it, all her sons and daughters will be her savior. It's, it's the, the culture, culture that, that made us all neighbors. neighbors.